What's happening guys? Today on Stump Station, I'm gonna go through why I have so much energy and why I'm so positive all the time. I get questions about it. Why am I, I've got so much energy, even late at night, like how am I constantly on a full blast and why am I positive? On the last video, I spoke about Saudi Arabia and I spoke about all the positives here. I'll be honest with you, a lot of people would have spoke about the negatives, but I wanted to tell you guys all the positives. So this is what I'm like on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm gonna show you how I stay positive and how I have the energy throughout the day. Maybe you can take some tips and you can enjoy your day just as much as me. Once you get coffee, meet the boys. And then head to the gym and get C4 inside you. Once you've had your coffee, guys, the next most important thing for me is take C4. This is how I get myself fired up at the beginning of the day. We need to take a bit better. That was too loud. So that was a fun session. We're always trying to get fired up, even when we don't feel great. So today, guys and said they were feeling like crap. And I just wasn't feeling good. That was speed work, not very fast. So talk saying positive stuff all the time is how I get in that mindset of trying to be positive and be energetic all the time. If you say bad words, bad things are gonna happen. If you say good stuff, good things are gonna happen. So now it's time for me to head to interval and go coach and I'm gonna go through what I do as a coach just to make sure that I'm really staying positive with the guys and I don't lose my fucking shit with them. So, we're at interval now. We're gonna go through the class. Me and Elton's gonna help me. 
about things that we have to repeat on a daily basis. When I first got here, I got so frustrated and I got so annoyed at having to repeat myself on the little things. And I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't put you in a good mood and it's not positive. So some of the stuff we deal with day to day may get very frustrating. So we're gonna talk about it and how we deal with it. The man himself. Hey. Hey, hey what's <laughs> up, girl? <laughs> That was, that was fucking gay. Anyway, so the biggest one, first thing we always get is Yalla Shabab, which means let's go guys, come over to the board. It's difficult to not get despondent. Yeah. So today's workout is front squat and leg and some assistant leg work. If you ever want to know the workout of interval, head over to his Instagram. He goes for it every single day. Tips, warm up and everything. So you can do it in your own time wherever you are if you have the equipment. This is going to be a classic. We've got six sets of front squat and three reps. This is gonna happen. So guys, today we've got six sets, three reps of front squat. How many reps, guys? <laughs> that was so good. How many reps? So three reps. How many reps? Three. And don't get me wrong, at the beginning I'm like, but <laughs> like. But it's like common, very common miscommunication. Yes. Like switching words around, switching numbers around. And it's not just this place, it's everywhere in general when we coach. I'm not saying it's just Saudi, it's back home, every country. Everyone, there's always at least one person in a class which repeats the same thing over and over again. And it, <laughs> and it can get very frustrating, but you've got to turn it into a joke. What's something that you see which is very common? Um, like you said, switching the numbers around, just not listening. And I feel like this is maybe why people are coming to us because we're doing the thinking for them. Yeah. They want to come to the gym so they don't have to set up their plan and they don't have to think about how many sets, how many reps. We're doing the thinking for them. And 10, 11, 12 times we get a little tired of saying it, but like you said, we try and stay positive. Yeah. And we get a lot of results out of the guys, so that's the feedback for us. That's the, the energy give back. Yeah, so we're trying to get results, trying to have it as a, and turn it into a joke, that's the main thing. And that's how I stay positive with stuff like that. It happens everywhere around the world. This job is so easy, but it's sometimes made hard. But you learn to be patient and have fun. So Elton, to conclude, is there anything that you do to stay positive in these situations when guys do repeat the questions over and over again and you're repeating yourself. It's just a mindset thing, completely a mindset. I try and stay in control. I try and think about the results afterwards because like I said, it's very satisfying for us. We do get the results we want, it just takes a bit longer and we'd have to be patient. All the stuff me and Elts went over earlier didn't work. Because currently doing theory and normally there's a shit ton of questions and there was none. I'm proud of these guys. Three, two, one, rotate. Three left. These guys are fucking killing it. This guy is known for asking a hundred questions, right? No, no. <laughs> no, this is not good. So, the guys have just suffered through that lovely workout. I'm gonna give them a little bit more something spicy at the end. They're gonna love it. The next thing that I say, my stuff, how you feeling? Awesome. Loving life? Yeah, I wish anyone was in first. He's just saying that because he's on camera. But what I like to see, the next thing why I'm always so energetic and positive is the fucking music. My saying back at uni, dirty girls like dirty beats. So you gotta fucking always play dirty beats to always keep you fucking going and energized throughout the day. And that is the next point. Just trying to make sure you're always having fun with it at all times. Make sure they have the energy because they come for the energy. So if you've got dirty beats on, you're running around, they're gonna love it too. Guys, yalla, come on over. Let's see how long it takes. Yalla, Shabbat, come over to the board. They are suffering so bad. <laughs> Mashallah. So, as a cash out, what would be really nice to we have time left. 150 burpees in a pair. Break it up how you want, 10 minute time cap. I also gave him an extra round because I'm just that nice. Sometimes you've got to keep giving gifts to people to make yourself feel good. And I'm just gonna gift that keeps on giving in this case. That was so fucking cheesy. Please ignore that shit. Fuck that. Just finished up the class, guys. One PT to go to finish the day before I get a lovely haircut. You're gonna see the difference. It's gonna be fucking weird, trust me. What I suggest is, the next thing, try and give a compliment a day. Try and give five compliments to random people a day to make them feel good. If you're making other people feel good, it will make you feel good. Trust me, it's a big thing and it's really nice. Like, Habibi, right here. Habibi, this t-shirt. Big my shirt. 
So I was just saying how giving compliments a day really helps you bring out the positivity in people. So this is a piece of shit. <laughs> Take it, I'm joking. No, I'm joking, you're awesome, man. Well done today. Obviously that was a bit of sarcasm, but make sure you're having a laugh too. Have jokes with people. He clearly didn't like the workout or he didn't like the joke. Guys, next I'm gonna go get a haircut now and let's find out. Let's see how that goes. After this PT, it's gonna be bad. This is gonna be completely gone and I'm gonna have a tash and a little circle here for Movember. Fuck. So, finally got a haircut, guys. Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, not a fan, but it is what it is. Got rid of my beard and I've got a moustache for Movember, which is all about awareness for men, prostate cancer, men's health, really promoting for men. October's all about the women with breast cancer, November's about the men, so I did it. Don't judge. I know I look like a fucking absolute twat, and I realised if I wear my hat, I could not be. <laughs> I look so American, right? I look like a trucker American guy being like, hey y'all, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> so today we went through how to stay positive and how I'm energetic all the time. You saw C4, coffee, basically jacked on pre-workout when I trained, even though I didn't have barely any food today. So what happened was I ate my breakfast, I had a few snacks, a protein shake, and that was it until I had lunch at around 9 o'clock at night, just before my PT when you last saw me. So barely eaten. So what I do is to stay nice and motivating, I think of all the positive stuff, I try and think of the bright side of everything, and I'm gonna tell you the bright side of this. I, like I said, I try and give people compliments throughout the day, making them feel good. So if you make other people feel good, it makes you feel good. Always just trying to have a laugh and a joke with people. Like, that. Like if you notice, when we got our little music video, we're just trying to have a laugh and a joke the whole time, even when it's serious, because you, you've got to enjoy it. You've got to enjoy everything that you do. If you're not having a laugh and you're not smiling all the time, what's the point? That is one other point. Smile. Smile all the time. Even if, try not to be fake, obviously. But smiling will generally make you feel a lot better. It's crazy. Like I said, give five people a day a compliment. Anyone. It could be anything. On their shoes, their socks, their t-shirt, their stupid ass moustache. Anything. Like, it will make you feel a lot better about yourself and keep him positive. I did a terrible, terrible workout. When I mean terrible, I mean it fucking sucked. This was the workout. Guys, if you can RX that workout and finish the whole thing, like, that's insane. Like, I couldn't finish the whole workout RX. I had to scale the last round. It sucked. But you've got to think of the positives. I pushed the point of which I thought I was going to throw up three times and I, I physically pushed my body so far today. And I'm proud of that. Like, even though I failed the accomplishment of completing a workout, I literally was trying to push my body as far as I could, which I'm proud of. And that's all you can ask from yourself. So this video is very short and sweet. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share, guys. Let me know what you think. These are the, these are the short little tips that I would say to stay nice and positive throughout the day and why I have so much energy. Until next time, peace.